up, look way up, up into the clouds. How you doing up there, hon? A little less oxygen up there? Yep. This is taller than my studio, I'm just letting you know. You're doing so good with the height thing. Hi, Hi YouTube, YouTube family. family. My name is Alicia English. And I'm Philip English. Welcome back to our channel. The weather is perfect outside today. We can't wait to get outside and do a whole bunch of the little things and tidying up around the property. We made a to-do list at the start of the summer and we've almost finished everything that we had on that to-do list. We wanna get in and finish up a few things that were left on the list to do. You might notice behind us that this door was yellow last week. The boys decided that they would prefer us to have a green door around the house and so the boys painted the screen door on our sunroom porch. Doing the screen in porch was one of our top priorities to get done this summer and we have thoroughly been enjoying it. Drinking our tea and having night chats out on our couch on the front porch. It was the best thing we have ever added to the exterior of our house. Oh yeah, so enjoyable. Keeping the bugs out, the weather out, it's just added another room to the house and we've enjoyed it all summer long. I also think it adds a lot of really nice curb appeal because now we have a designated front door to the house because we have three separate doors on the front and so this really gives us that special spot to decorate. I already have a few pieces of fall trickling in out here. I couldn't help myself. Home Hardware got their mums in and I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. So uh, support me, set up some fall things so I don't be like the crazy one in August with fall stuff outside. <laughs> We also took down the shutters on the house. We've been talking to you guys about our decision on what we were going to paint them. We've ultimately decided that we want to leave the shutters off. So Philip has been a champ up on the high ladder because this ladder we need is way taller than what I needed for the studio, which means that the fascias that are underneath are super faded, discolored, and they need to be painted. So we have been up on there starting to get that paint job done. We heard a doorbell today and we've been waiting on a few things that we're really, really excited about. A couple of those things came in today. I'm so excited. So we had a box delivered today, which is an inspiration piece that's going to set the tone for a huge renovation that we have coming up on our channel. We have a list of projects that we wanna to get to as soon as the camper and the studio are finished. And so we're just ordering in some things now, getting a little bit ahead of the game and seeing some of those things come in the mail from our favorite mail lady, Cindy. Thanks, Cindy. Thanks, we're Cindy. <laughs> dropping everything off for us. So we are really excited. So we're gonna actually show you a couple of those inspiration pieces today. One is something I'm gonna be DIYing and one is something that came from a Canadian company that I'm super excited about that I plan on doing some work with in the future. So I'm gonna show you some of those and we're gonna to get to work showing you what we're doing on the house today. Life is in a stream. The ocean call for you. We're just taking a quick break from our painting. It's getting super hot. We just wanted to hop down and show you what actually came in the mail today. This is going to be the inspiration for a space we're going to work on on the interior of our house coming up early fall. And so I'm really excited to open this up. So this box came from decorhut.ca. I'll leave all of the information in the description box down below if you want to check out the products that they have. But I'm really excited this came in the mail. So thank you so much, Decor Hut. This is going to be amazing in the space that I'm going to be working on. Let's open it up. So all of these things that they sell are actually ethically sourced and they're approved through Customs and PETAs. So over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be working on a couple interior makeover projects, our living room, I think our bathroom, and then a couple other projects that we're gonna show you on our channel. And one of the items that I really was looking for for one of the spaces is an arched mirror. Arched mirrors are all the trend right now. I'm watching Philip get attacked by hornets. Are you okay? <laughs> You, that was your hornet running dance? <laughs> I think it's gone. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, honey. So arch mirrors right now for 2020 are all the rage. And I have been seeing them on so many different sites. 
one problem. I do not want to sp spend upwards of four to $1,000 or more on a mirror for a space. You know I like to do things thrifted. You know I like to do things DIY. And I just cannot justify that price. So mom and I headed to Marketplace and mom found an amazing arch mirror for me that I'm going to DIY to be able to put into one of these spaces. It was listed for only $30. So this is the mirror, perfect size for the project. It's 31 inches by 39 inches, which is exactly what I needed. The perfect shape. Asking $30, mom even was able to get it for 20. She learned from the best in the bartering world, so I'm pretty thrilled. Thanks so much, mom, for grabbing it for me and for finding such a great deal. This is going to make a huge impact on the space that we're gonna be renovating. So I wanted to show you a little sneak peek of something that's gonna go in that space, but I'm not yet gonna tell you what I'm gonna be working on. These original lights that came with the house when we bought it six years ago need to go. There's no top on. It's just a bug collector. There's probably some species of bugs that we don't even know of yet inside <laughs> of there. It's just absolutely disgusting. Look, oh, gross. Oh my gosh. This is filled. So the top is crumbled. We saw some lantern lights on the website, so we decided to order. Look what came in. Ah! So exciting. So we have one for either side of the garage, right? Absolutely. Oh, and they are lantern style. I love Do you the ones like you them? picked. Okay, I didn't know if you were gonna like them because of the square style, the box, but. I love the matte black and I love the beveled glass on the front. That looks so cool. Perfect. So first you wanna make sure the power's off and then we can pull this away from the siding. But you don't want to touch these if you if you didn't turn the power off. So make <laughs> sure you have the power off. Oh, this is what happens when you have too old of a light fixture. It doesn't do its job. That's disgusting and a fire hazard. <laughs> so Massive fire new hazard. lights were a must. When you're done hanging the light fixtures, I'm gonna paint the garage door. Day two of painting. Day two. <laughs> Day, two Day two of exterior painting. Okay, I'm gonna see what the side over here looks like. Yay, it's white. Was teal. This spot up here, Philip did a great job. I could not get up there. It is going to look so much fresher and I'm gonna get to doing those window frames in a minute with the second ladder. So I'm going to use a rust coat spray paint to be able to do all the metal work that's around the actual garage door. And then I'll be able to use my exterior paint to paint the actual garage door. And then I'll be able to switch from the inside. We have put this like textured tinted contact paper to keep some privacy in the garage. It's kind of been up for maybe about six years. It's getting kind of grimy from all the sawdust and stuff from inside the garage. So I'm gonna peel that off and then be able to put some new stuff on later this week. But I wanna make sure that the door is nice and clean from the inside. But this metal stuff works great to cover all of these rusty seams and all of the nuts and bolts that are kind of on it that you can see. And then this is gonna get a nice fresh coat of white because you can see that as it kind of is scraped up, things have hit it over the years. It needs a little bit of a refresh. Me or you? I'm, <laughs> I'm finding paint. I'm covered. <laughs> I don't even know if I, I think I got more paint on myself than I did on the actual house. We got so much work done today. It was a gorgeous day for the weather and it was the perfect day for us to get this last bit of our exterior to-do list done for the summer. It looks amazing. Yes. I think we just have one more light fixture to hang because we're running out of daylight. And what we're gonna do is just kind of finish that up tomorrow morning quickly and then the entire exterior of the front is all complete. So this summer we were able to build the screen and porch behind us which was on our dream list of projects. We got the full exterior of the house painted, all the weeding, all the gardening, all the landscaping. We have done 
so much work. Not to mention, we built a full studio in the back. If you haven't seen those videos, be sure to check out my all woman build. I teamed up with Home Hardware to do an epic tiny home studio. So you don't want to miss that. No. You know what's amazing? You. Oh, thanks. But the <laughs> summer's not even over yet. And yes. we have so many more projects like tomorrow. Wait, what's next month? September. Huh, what's so important about <laughs> September? <laughs> Philip's birthday is September what? 11th. And the whole month of September is his birthday. Let yes. me know in the comment section. Birthday month, YouTube <laughs> family. Let me know in the comment section if someone in your family celebrates an entire month for their birthday like Philip does. And we always joke in September, every day is Phil day. <laughs> Stay tuned for the celebration. Yeah. But tomorrow we are celebrating the fact that we are getting into the bathroom space on the camper. So oh, yes. If you have been following the camper series, you don't want to miss tomorrow's video. We are tackling the bathroom renovation. And I'm going to label this video world's tiniest bathroom because <laughs> it is literally the tiniest space ever. And in my wildest dream, dreams, I would have never thought that since we've taken the toilet out, that that still has to go back into that space. Oh, no. You <laughs> like it's not even big enough for one person in there. So stay tuned to the epic reveal. We're gonna be working on that tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching and for the support on our family. This channel is all about creating a life we love and because of your support, we're able to do that. So yeah. we love you. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on tomorrow's Camper Reno video. Bye.